Hi, my name is Derek Smith and I am an associate professor at the University of Wyoming. I work in the Division of Kinesiology and Health and my background and expertise are in exercise science and exercise physiology. Uh, right here is normal. Oh, I was just like any other boy growing up in the Rocky Mountain Front Range. I wanted to be a, a policeman, a fireman, a doctor, or a cowboy. And I ended up in the science area kind of by fate. Um, I started my undergraduate career and I kind of changed major several times. I went from engineering to forestry. Thought I wanted to be a forest ranger for a while because it was kind of between being a fireman, policeman, and a cowboy. Um, then I switched back to engineering and ultimately found out that the favorite class that I had taken in high school was anatomy and I really liked exercise and I'd been active most of my life and so I ended up transferring and majoring in sports medicine and exercise science and when I got in there I really found that that's what I had a passion for and what I loved. Um, when I started taking the coursework in that area I found out that it wasn't the sports, meds, sport, sports medicine so much as it was the exercise science and utilizing exercise and physical activity to help people lead healthy lifestyles that is what drove me to pursue my graduate school education and so I did clinical training at Wake Forest University and then ended up after completing my PhD in Colorado at the University of Wyoming in an exercise science position where biomedical research is really what, we, what drives um, me and what I'm excited about doing but it all kind of had that or origination in the anatomy course that I had taken in high school. We've known for quite a while that being physically active and getting exercise, and it doesn't have to be intense exercise, is very important to our health. But the real issue is that really over the last 50 years we've seen a decline in how physically active people are, and this in large part has to do, to, do with changes in society. We have cars, we have transportation, um, we don't have to work physically as hard in most of our jobs. We spend a lot more time with technology, computers, and the internet. We have cell phones. We don't have to get up and walk down the hall to talk to a colleague. We can communicate via email, those types of things. And some of that loss of physical activity in our daily lifestyles is actually leading to increased incidences of diseases, heart diseases, certain types of cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis. And so really what drives my work and what we're interested in doing is trying to figure out how we can reverse um, the incidence of these diseases by helping people to um, incorporate physical activity as a daily habit. One of the things that we're doing with our internet delivered physical activity program is we also combine that with some new pedometer technology and these pedometers are just small step counters and the step counters actually track how much physical activity a person is getting throughout their day. Now we can't use them when we're swimming and we can't use them when we're in the shower, those types of things, but other than that we can get a really good picture of how physically active people are throughout their day. The more physically active people are, the better their health is likely to be. Um, the new uh, pedometer that we're using with our internet-based program actually is uploadable to a person's computer so that they just plug it into a USB port and it brings in 40 days worth of their physical activity and then that information is displayed graphically so that the participants can actually visually see how physically active they've been. They're able to see if they've had bad days, if they've had really good days. They can use that information to look at whether or not they're reaching their physical activity goals that they've set for themselves. And then they can also use that to set new goals when they see that you know, they're consistently achieving the goals that they had set for themselves. So the new pedometer technology is very interesting. Uh, one of the things they're doing with the new pedometer technology is some cell phones actually have it incorporated into that already. And the hope with our internet-based programs is that we can take the technology we're developing there and transfer that over to cell phone platforms. So when you're walking and you have your cell phone in your pocket, which most of us do, or um, ladies in their purse or their coat or something like that, it's actually tracking the amount of physical activity they get. And not many people forget their cell phones anymore. Uh, one of the problems that we do run into is that when people use the step counters of the pedometers, whether they have them in their pocket or on their waistband, sometimes they do forget to grab those in the morning because it's not a lifeline like our cell phones are. Um, but the, the pedometer technology to be able to link up with the cell phones or the internet, that's the direction that we're headed with the research. Well, we really, we really do hope that our research is 
going to help people. In fact, we've had about 300 participants since I've been at the University of Wyoming, who I think we've helped at least a good portion of because they've already engaged in some of our physical activity programs. Um, they've also gotten health information. They maybe found out that they had high blood pressure and they needed to see their physician and get that taken care of. Um, with our project right now, what our objective is, is to take the Internet Delivered Physical Activity Behavior Change Program and work with some physicians in Cheyenne and some other healthcare clinics so that they can implement the Internet Delivered Program into their clinics and deliver it to their patients. One of the benefits of the internet delivery approach for helping people to become more physically active is the patients then don't have to live in a large city where you have resources such as um, fitness clubs, YMCAs, where people come to exercise, but the physicians and the clinics can actually reach out to participants in particular in Wyoming, their patients that live in small towns or are very geographically isolated and have to travel long distances to see their doctor, they can actually get the behavior change program over the internet. And so one of the things that we're very excited about is this technology allows us to really reach out to a larger seg segment of the population. The other aspect of my job that I absolutely love is that I have the opportunity to merge my research and the science that I do with teaching and working with uh, students, undergraduate students and graduate students. Right now my lab team consists of 10 students, three of whom are graduate students and seven different undergraduate students. And these students work on everything from data collection and taking heart rate and blood pressure measurements to teaching people how they can eat healthier, um, helping people learn about different types of exercise. And they also take a lot of time um, with their coursework um, and their coursework is directed at what does all of this mean? What do all these different health measures that we make, heart rate, blood pressure, how does that relate to a person's risk for disease? And so uh, the undergraduate students that work in my lab are directly involved with the research projects that we do. Um, they work with our research participants on a regular basis. They have the opportunity to make presentations and scientific presentations at um, different meetings and conferences throughout the state. So our undergraduates are really integral to the work that we do. In fact, without them, we wouldn't have um, enough of a research force and team to do the work that we do. That's very rewarding for me in knowing that these graduate students and undergraduate students, regardless of whether they pursue similar careers, are going to go out into the field and be able to also make an impact and become qualified and confident professionals in what they're doing. From my clinical background, um, what I did early on prior to you know, engaging in this research was specifically helped people um, recover from heart attacks. And so as a person, um, helping others is the most valuable thing for me. And I'm in a very fortunate position now with what I do via science, that the science that I do and the science that I enjoy actually, um, in my opinion, has the potential to really make a benefit and help other people.